I think one safe assumption that we can make about the Animaniacs show is that when it was announced a couple of years back that it was even happening, a lot of people didn't even like the idea to begin with. Because while I can't say for a fact that every reboot has been bad, most of the time they're just not good or they don't hold up to the expectations. Or in some other case there is like no expectations of what's gonna happen and they end up becoming either just okay but not because of being a good representation of the show that they're rebooting. And in this situation, Animaniacs is such a beast when it comes to the world of animation, especially in the United States, that it was just a very hard task to even digest. But luckily, I can at least say that the Animaniacs reboot, or Animaniacs 2020 as I would like to prefer it, is at the very least holding the spirit of the original show. If anything, I can say that the reason why they're calling it a reboot rather than a revival is majorly out of respect for the original show, like for the sake of not trying to come off as arrogant and say that this is the new generation of Animaniacs. And I think we could start with the things that are not in the Animaniacs reboot, which is a lot of the main characters. Like come on, like even though there is an episode dedicated to talk about that, there is still an entire focus on both the Warner Brothers and Pinky and the Brain. It makes sense since both of them were more iconic and they even had or were the representation of the respective shows, but that still doesn't mean that Slappy or Rita or most of the other characters were not beloved. If anything, people noticed that immediately during the trailers where there was just a lack of anything that was in the Warners or Pinky and the Brain. I can start with the CEO of Warner Brothers. I thought that she was going to become a more current identity or even be her own character in terms of doing sketches and all, but no, she's only there to interact with the Warners, which is great because I think that her dynamic works perfectly well with them, but she's only utilized with them instead of, I don't know, showing how Warner Brothers in a parody form creates content or distributes things, and just for the sake of that mockery, I thought it was going to be a good idea. But no, they really don't go that far when it comes to new characters. However, with the elements that are used, in this case, once again, the Warners and Pinky and the Brain, they know how to shine in the form of 2020 Year of Our Lord. The comedy is just as on point as it was in the original. The references are very, very satirical. <laughs> like, and most importantly, they do hold the spirit of the original show. Despite what the creator can say about the show, the people behind it are definitely fans of the series and they wanted to show what they can do in the format of the Animaniacs. The show was already known for being able to mock politics, to mock controversial topics, and most importantly tackle them in a way that kids would understand and laugh at it, or at the very least being subtle enough that the adults will be the ones understanding while the kids were still having fun about it. I can't say that the politics on the show are tackled in the best way possible, but hey, I am not a responsible band owner, so I can't really say if this is proper or not. When it comes to that element, I will say that watch the intro. If you like the intro and the humor presented in that intro, then you're gonna love the entire show. It is, it is full of that energy throughout the entirety of the season. And not everything is something that I will call controversial. Yeah, you have the whole bond control element, but you also have the episode on Russia where, yeah, they definitely mock the culture and elements of that, but it's also funny in the sense that they're showing a, a low-budget company trying to do a rip-up of the show, to the point where it looks so bad that even Dot says, Maybe it'll die peacefully on its own. As someone that has worked on television before, especially on local media, that did hit on a personal level. As for Pinky and the Brain, I will honestly say that they are the strongest part about this season. Not surprising given how the formula of Pink in the Brain was so good that they managed to get its own show back in the day, but personally I just think that they had a bit more focus compared to the Animaniacs. I get that that's always been the point that Pink in the Brain was more focused than the Animaniacs because the Animaniacs was all about being random and anarchy, but I was able to enjoy the stories of Pink in the Brain a lot more because of that same focus. However, that's not to say that the Animaniacs don't have their best moments. Once it, like, Hell, they even managed to give Dot her own educational song, now with the First Lady song. <laughs> and just quickly, I thought that thing was amazing and it was funny and it just represented the importance of the First Ladies to a certain degree. I can't say that I see this song being utilized to pass grades in school, but that's majorly because I 
don't really see schools utilizing first ladies as a point of exam that much. <laughs> I don't know how much of the feedback can work for season 2 given the fact that that was probably written also during 2018. But I do hope that there is more characters or more use of the different characters that they have besides just the Warners and Pinky and the Brain, like I already mentioned. But maybe tone the callbacks down a little bit for season 2. Season 1 was great for that because it was again the revival of the series and people needed to just be reminded of the things that made the show fun to begin with. But season 2 is when they probably need to have their own identity compared to the original. I'm just gonna say that. But with all this ramble aside, I do recommend watching the show in any form possible, either by Hulu or by any streaming services that let you watch it. Or again, you can do piracy, it's not like it's fair to pay for a VPN that lets you pay for another service, I'm just saying. <laughs> the show is just as good as it was back in the 90s, but with its own twists and turns compared to the original because of the new theme being brought up. But with this as a first impression, I can easily say that the new team is also saying it to the max with Baloney on their sacks. Really?